What is Scott going to teach us about tonight? Well, I'll tell you, uh, hopefully something locally about the wind. I'm glad I'm not driving in a big old truck or something like that. Yeah, oh. Absolutely, especially in Oregon today. It was a lot windier to the west. It'll be windy in the Treasure Valley, but it was windy to the west indeed today. Here's I-84, Baker City, some rain showers nearby. These little blue dots here uh, are wind reports. And this one northeast of Pendleton, this was a 72-mile-an-hour wind gust earlier today. What did that do? Well, take a look at this photograph here. I want to show you. We'll switch computers. And this is what happened on... Route 11, uh, this is it right here, a tractor trailer, and I think it damaged the guardrail right in this region here as well. Closer inspection, you can see a worker here uh, hoping to clean this up. So out in the open, wide open spaces, strong winds, and this is just a taste of what is happening to the west. It is a real bad situation in Northern California. It's actually a good situation for the rain, but it's tough for the wind that's coming in, getting gusts to 50 miles an hour uh, in some locations along the coast and gusts upwards to 80. There was one gust here in Southern Oregon that was above 85 miles an hour at 4,000 feet uh, earlier this afternoon now gusting to about 54 very heavy rain about one to three inches of rain will fall out of this overnight tonight and you look back to the west here we're getting strong jet stream winds here but there's a push in the jet stream right now winds at jet stream level are 180 miles an hour out here and those are going to blast in with 160 to 170 mile an hour winds along the coast now this is up at jet stream level that'll transpire down to about 80 mile per hour winds as you get down low we're talking about power outages 40 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts along the coast there travel disruption is likely all throughout this region. We're talking 40 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts, so it's a pretty bad situation. You can see the drought here, the extreme category for San Francisco down to Los Angeles. Look how much moisture is coming in. Four to eight inches with a maximum near 10 to 12 inches in Northern California. This is great news and will make an impact in that drought in California. That so is good news. Good news yeah. for agriculture prices for us too. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, God. Making entertainment